Cheers! I dare to say there is no real adventure without proper treasure and chest. So today we make a few. Open ones, closed and broken ones. And even a mimic in an easy way. Use this method to get different sizes on your chest. You might want to do a bigger chest for merchants that can contain linen and potions and maybe even a small dagger stacked away with just a coffin or two for your graveyard. I use wood glue on one side to make the balsa tree more durable while I work and bend it. Make the trace on the glue side and bend it carefully. Cut away and work down to get the right size of the chest. Same with the chest lid, glue it on the inside so it don't fall apart when working it. To make it stand good on the table, put a few weights in it. Here I use a few stones. Green stuff for the sculpting of the mimic. I used the clam and my own mouth palette as reference to make something that don't resemble either. Send it. Remember, the more accurately pre-job, the better result.
You can use a strip from a watercolor paper with rough surface for the steel strips. Bend a bit of steel wire to make handles to the chest. Glue it on place, but remember to make holes with the needle first. And now it's time to put the teeth in. I made more than I needed so I could choose the finest ones and it's also good to have a few laying around for future crafts. To make the coins I used some glitter and mixed it with Mod Podge so I could make a few good looking piles in the chest. Don't forget to add a few gemstones and maybe even a chain, a small goblet, a dagger, a potion, a skull or even a bulk of fine silk to change things up. One can use crepe paper for the bulk of silk.
I know there is a few good rust paints out there, but I haven't come around to buy one yet. So one use what one got, and I think burnt sienna works fine. When all the shells are painted, I finish them off with a dry brush of light grey. If you think that makes them too light, just give them a good wash of suitable color. Ah yes, the Mimic chest. I totally forgot to wreck of the painting of the chest, but the colors I used was Folkard Dark Grey and of course Folkard Black for the steel sides. I clipped a few spikes out of steel wire and glued them on paste as well. And don't forget the gloss varnish for the shiny effect on the Mimic. So there we have them, full with gold, closed, broken and empty, or just a nasty surprise. So let the dice roll and see what the fate have in store for you. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see future crafts, sculpting or paintings. And if you want to support my channel, you can do it by share, like, and leave a comment. Most appreciated. Cheers.